Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be talking about the HDMI adapter that plugs into the motherboard. It's the spoofer HDMI adapter. We're talking about using that on our mining rigs. So if you think that's interesting, hit like, subscribe, hit the bell. Go to CryptoLLC.org if you're looking for someone to manage a GPU or ASIC mining farm. Here's one currently being built out. It's not finished yet, but you can see the current status of it. And check out our other social media accounts like Rumble, BitChute, Parler, Gab, Mines, and of course, YouTube. All right, let's get started. So, the little HDMI adapters I'm referring to are these ones right here. So this little guy right here is a spoofer. So when you plug it in into a motherboard, such as this one here, it's a B250. What it does is it tricks the motherboard into thinking that a monitor is plugged in. Now, why would you want that? Well, if you're using VNC and you have VNC installed on the motherboard or on the, on the SSD, then you need the spoofer since you cannot connect to it unless there's a monitor connected. So that's how VNC works. We don't use VNC on our uh, motherboards, so we don't have that issue. But the reason why I'm checking out this adapter, trying out this adapter, the reason is that for some weird, I don't know what the problem is with, you know, if it's Windows or just the RDP connection or it's something to do with uh, minimizing Windows, but basically you log into a rig and the rig's windows will automatically be minimized. So if the rig restarted display drivers, which is what part of our program, the program will then open up the windows after the, uh, the uh, display driver restarted. It will then open up the windows, meaning it'll open up uh, Brave Browser, it'll open up the G Miner, and it will maximize them or, or put them in a special location, kind of like arrange them to the left and to the right. And that's, what, that's how it runs. But, so if I do that manually and I'm looking at the monitor and I do that manually, everything's fine. But if I'm not logged in through RDP, then it does not work. So if I if, if it did a display driver restart and I was not logged in on RDP, then next time I log in, the Brave browser is minimized, the G Miner is minimized, and sometimes even our program is minimized. So let me show you a scenario just like that. Let me open up a rig here. Okay, so here's a rig. Now, when you open it up, this is how it opens up, just like this, right? Instead of being open like this, this is supposed to be open, and then G minor is supposed to be open like that. But if I log into it, this rig, a lot of times, these are minimized like this. And that's pretty annoying because if I want to look at the speed of the rig, I have to open up Brave Browser again, then a G minor is minimized, and I want to see what's going on with G minor. I also have to click on that. So there's two clicks I have to do, which is two clicks too many. Right? I don't want to be clicking around for no reason. I want to load up a rig and immediately see the speeds, immediately see the G minor working, and, and so on. Immediately see you know what's going on with this miner, how long it's been up, it's been up for eight minutes, and so on. So I need to know that information without having to click you know more buttons. So that's the issue. And I'm still trying to figure out what it is. So make sure if you guys know what the issue is, uh, leave a comment. Um, it's just a nuance, you know, it doesn't impact performance, it doesn't do anything, you know, negative to the rig, everything's fine. Uh, it's just, it's just annoying, and I don't want to deal with annoying things. I want to solve the annoying things, get them out of my way. So, what I'm thinking the issue could be, which I could be just wrong about it, is the HDMI adapter here. So, I plug this guy in on all the rigs at this location, and I'm going to see if that has some kind of impact on those minimizations. Maybe, um, maybe after a display driver restart and, uh, it, and, you know, and there is no monitor connected at that point, maybe the rig is saying, hey, you know, uh, open up Brave Browser and open up G Miner and, and uh, put them in separate corners. It might not do that because it's saying, hey, there's not a monitor plugged in. There is no monitor plugged in, so I'm not gonna do that. So that, that's maybe what's going on. So I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna plug in these HDMI adapters and see what happens. Now, before I plug them in, I changed motherboard settings to have uh, the motherboard uh, have HD graphics on. So I made sure that's on. 
So I'm using the CPU graphics uh, for the spoofer, and then the GPUs are just running the miner. So I'm gonna see what happens. Now I plugged them on. I plugged them in on all the rigs, so you can see every single rig has that HDMI spoofer on there. Um, so, and then I maximized all the windows on all the rigs, and I'm gonna test it out to see if that was the issue or not. And if it is, it's gonna save you know two clicks and some time. So. Two clicks might not sound like a lot, but if you're doing that you know, all the time and you have you know, more than 20, 30 rigs or whatever and so on, obviously you have a, more than that, uh, it becomes annoying. So it, it's just something I wanna get out of the way. All right, well, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys like it, you know what to do. Hit like, subscribe, hit the bell, check out all the social media accounts. And if you're looking for someone to manage a GPU or an ASIC mining farm, go to CryptoLLC.org. We have various different uh, options. If you're looking to have us manage it for you or you're looking to, for us to, uh, to run it for you, kind of like managing or run it or you know, various scenarios and, and uh, we can all talk about all those details. We also provide all our clients with the GPUs. So right now is, you know, uh, big shortage on GPUs, it's hard to get them if you don't have connections. And we have those connections, so we can get hundreds of them at a time. So if you're interested, go to CryptoLLC.org. And until next time, bye.